Hey, over there. Joe Lunchbox. And the kind of disappointed because of the weather. Joy Nightingale right here. On today's adventure, we have landed right here in Salem, Massachusetts. We're here to discover the maritime museums and uh, learn about pirates and, of course, Art. the Salem the Salem Witch Trials, and there's a bunch of witch museums. The question is, Joy, which witch museum will we wander and have know, a wicked, way? wonderful time at? <laughs> which witch are you with? Which way will we go? Which way will <laughs> we go? Um, Joy is a little upset because we just drove up for a day, and of course, it's terribly rainy weather. Wah, wah. So we're starting in the visitor center because it actually has a roof instead of walking around, hoping the rather rain will hold up. I think there's a conspiracy um, theory against us right now. Yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna have a good time. Show you some sculptures outside, some of the cemeteries, do some museums, have a good time. So, uh, step it up. Let's go for this ride. Joy, you get have a new job in the sideshow. You're the bearded lady. Hey. Does On the so black funny? vomit. <laughs> I heard the captain of the ship's name is Donnie Vomit. That's why they named it the Black Vomit. Okay, I could totally work on that boat. Yeah. <laughs> Good day, Chef. We're ready to have a good old time in Salem today. <laughs> you kind of look cute and ridiculous all in one. Why, thank you. Thank you. Um, babe. Yes? <laughs> I'm uh, just wandering around here in Salem. <laughs> Little old me. No, no, I'm not a witch. Don't, don't think that. I'm a good girl. You're a sweet little girl. I'm a sweet little girl. <laughs> Joy, do you want to go to the oldest witch shop in Salem? Which one? <laughs> we have the figurehead to the ship Friendship, waiting patiently for the turn of the ship so she could be placed back at the front of it. This ship here actually is a model of a ship called the Leander. Originally built here in Salem in 1821, but the cool thing is this model actually was afloat in a parade here in Salem in 1926. It's a badge of merit. We didn't get that kind of merit badge in Boy Scouts. The Art of Salem. We have a mannequin covered in paint with this skull face. I like it. it looks like Campbell's soup guy over there. At the Salem Witch History Museum. There's a bunch of witch museums here in Salem. We just signed up for a triple package, actually, is the Witch History Museum, the Witch Dungeon Museum, and also the Pirate Museum. So we're starting here at the Witch History Museum. Witch Crossing. I don't know how these witches ever got killed. I would have just got on my broom and rode away. Pentagram, the correct interpretation of the pentagram is a symbol that represents the four elements plus the fifth element of spirit. The natural order is that the uppermost point is the angle of the spirit. This is the proper and that spirit is the ultimate ruler of the elements. Spirit is the creator of material elements. The elements signify earth, air, fire, water, and spirit. These are cute. They're witch balls. Which witch ball do you want? No, I'm kidding. So what they do is they like ward off evil spirits, they go away evil spirits, goblins and stuff like that, and they go to capture the witches because they go in to investigate. Should we get a witch ball, Joy? Yo. <laughs> oh, I see, I see how she's doing, Joy. I saw her, she stepped away from the witch ball. <laughs> she is a witchy woman. <laughs> Why can't warlocks have babies? Because they have crystal yeah. balls. It is crazy when you see all the victims of the Salem witch trials, none of which obviously were witches. Even like unnamed infants that were the daughters of these women that got killed or died in jail because they weren't taken care of. Everyone thinks they were all burnt at the stake, but they weren't. Most of them were just hung. Really sad. How many people were hanged at the gallows? That's crazy. 19 people were hanged, five men, 14 women, and they even hung two dogs. Horrible. Five died in jail and one man was crushed. Witch pit. Witch pit is where they were all, after they were hung, they were buried. All together, they weren't allowed to be buried in the regular cemeteries because they were holy grounds. Crazy. There is one of the said witch pits. Hello. Hey. Good afternoon, everyone. 
Uh, welcome to the Witch History Museum. My name is Lana. I'm going to be your tour guide this morning. So we're going to be learning about the 13-month period here in Salem in 1692 known as the Witch Hysteria, where countless citizens were arrested and tried for practicing witchcraft. Uh, what I'm going to do up here is I'm going to give you guys a quick history lesson um, just about Salem itself and about the Puritans. Um, and then we're all going to go downstairs. We're actually going to walk through some exhibits that depict the events of the hysteria itself. Maybe the young girl pointing out which of the women were witches. Like she used the children we'll as the people right to here. show who is a witch. I like this one. I got stoned in Salem because some guy got stoned to death, buried in stones. I don't get the reference to I farted in Salem though. In a cool shop here. I like the old Ben Cooper masquerade costumes and the old blow molds. Here in Salem we found some shrunken heads and two amazing Fiji mermaids. This is a cool sculpture of the conjoined heads. Skulls I mean. Pocket rubber chickens. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna take one of those home with me. Slug stampedes days, some cool practical jokes type stuff. I love all this stuff. I have a big collection. Classic magic. I want to get you a labyrinth cards and the dark race, but she said no. Cool masks. We're just getting a little protection spell. Oh, thing. very nice. <laughs> So come to the Magic Parlor in Salem, Massachusetts. Downtown historic Salem, Massachusetts. I agree with this. Yeah. This stuff is awesome. Is it an awesome <laughs> store? It is amazing. Uh, 1268 is your total. And that's not a, just a plug, folks. That is the truth. You should come here. <laughs> this is the truth. We would never <laughs> lie to you. This looks Ooh, shoes to die yeah. for. Who's your oh, this is <laughs> All witches are here represented in Salem. Here we have Samantha from the wonderful TV show that I remember growing up watching, Bewitched. I love that they made a monument for her. Like, hey, all these people were killed here. Let's put up a movie, a TV show character. But that I works. still like it. It reminds me of my childhood. I approve. To some comic book shops here in Salem, and I love Gingerbread Man meets Eva Bong. Some cool comic books and memorabilia in this store here. Oh my god, so much stuff. A little overwhelming, but I love it. E.T. E.T. Phone home. I should get him. Or Star Tours, a Minnie Mouse as Queen Amidala. R2, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7, D8, D9, D10. Ooh, a lot of R2D2s. When I hang the sign in front of my house, no parking, Freddy only, all violators, tires will be slashed. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, better lock your door. Five, six, grab a crucifix. Seven, eight, better stay up late. Nine, ten, never sleep again. Cause Freddy's coming, so you better not park here. The Witch Dungeon Museum, seating and air conditioning. Less than 100 yards away, you have me sold. Let's go. Dun, 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 the Witch Dungeon. the trail of how it all happened here in Salem at the Salem Dungeon Museum. It is crazy that the people that was mostly killed were the people that denied being witches. The ones that admitted, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm a witch, they let, they let go. All because little girls hold heard stories from a slave and then made up little fun stories that one of the ministers was actually the devil and people believed it. And then it was a wild witch hunt. Oh, this one admitted that she rode broomsticks.
the original witch's dungeon. That's crazy. The torture that they would do. Tie a person's feet to his neck until blood dripped from his eyes and nose. The Salem's villagers loved John Indian's witch cakes, as he called them. They were made of barley meal, water, and herbs. If you wanted to be cured of smallpox, John would add a cup of baby urine before baking and then feed the cake to the dog. If the dog shuddered, you were cured. That's how they used to cure smallpox in the 1600s. Glad there's vaccines, because my dog would have hated eating urine cakes. Crazy little diorama. People hanging here at the witch's dungeon. So Joy, I see that they locked you up for having too much fun. You must be a witch here at the, the Witch Dungeon Museum. Did you like learning the history of the trials and people that were accused and seeing how they were stored? It was cool learning about it. It was sad though, but it... It is really sad. Like, they, there was like these little itty bitty cells. Yeah, like, to learn that people actually had to stand up in those cells. And like, we also learned facts that 100 Nine people were accused at one point. This, this dungeon, well, this is a replica of the dungeon, but the original dungeon they was have meant. They a post down there. Yeah, was they do have a wood post from the original. We weren't allowed to film it; it was really dark. But they, uh, it was dungeon was meant to hold 50. At times, it was 150 during the times of the trial. It's crazy. Uh, six people died in the poor living conditions down there. I'm tired of being locked up here. All right, you want you want to go out and become a pirate at the pirate museum? I want to be free. Okay, you can be free. Let's go and explore the rest of Salem. All right. All right, come on, let's go. I need you donuts. Time to do the museum. Let's go get some donuts. Time to make the donuts. We're here at Honey Do Donut Shops in Salem. I didn't go for a donut though. I went through a jalapeno cheddar bagel with some Western omelette thing and cheese and coffee. Joey's gonna have some donuts, but we decide to eat this. Okay. Not too spicy with that flavor for a bagel. Okay. I approve. <laughs> Yummy. Julie's here at the shop. She got two donuts. She's doing it right. Which one are you trying, Joy? Chocolate honey dip. And then after that, I'm going to do my butternut. See? I see it. So crunchy. It's actually really good. Good afternoon snack while we're walking around Salem. Give my body the sugar it needs to pet me back up. Oh yeah, we need to have all the sugar we need for the energy. Okay. You guys do today, then Boston, then the long drive home back to Long Island. Mm -hmm. So, go enjoy your donut. <laughs> At Salem Cemetery. I know you might think that the people that were hung at the witch trials would be buried in these cemeteries, but they're not. In fact, a lot of them don't know where their bodies were. They were all dumped in something called the witch pit, which was a private little, like a, just a grave in the woods, mass grave. And even though it was illegal and punishable by hangings, families would go, find their loved ones that were killed and then bury them on their own private land. So a lot of those people that were hung for the witch trials, people don't even know where their bodies now reside because they're buried in random people's properties to hundreds of years ago. We're at the memorial for the people that were hung at the Salem Witch Trial, 19 people throughout the memorial. There's these little placards that have the names and the dates of everyone that were executed. It's, it fascinates me that this happened in like 1692, but although the people still are showing respects for travesty, coming, putting flowers on all the memorials. And this man, Gilles Corey, saying he was pressed that he was 81 years old and they accused him, but instead of uh, denying or saying I am a witch, he didn't say anything. So they took him out and just laid a board on him and put rocks, heavier and heavier rocks, for days, two days. Just crushed him to death, but he never 
said he was witching. It got such a stir that actually is the thing that got letters sent and helped change uh, the rules because they were using something called spectral evidence, which basically says someone could say, I saw a witch with this, uh, or a spirit with this person, and they could be accused. And that was actually used as evidence, and his death brought light and changed a lot of stuff. And when they got rid of that, it being allowed to use that as evidence, it basically ended the Salem witch trials because that was the only evidence that they had. There was no real hard evidence. And it's, if you ever come to Salem, it's literally right here next to the old burial grounds. George Burroughs actually was a man that, the little girls that caused this hysteria, he was an old minister and they said that he was actually the devil himself. So um, some people from Salem went all the way to, which would now be considered Maine, two hours away now, but they took a horse and they drove out this guy, brought him back here and hung him, saying he was the devil. He actually started saying prayers because of that and the person that was hanging him said, nah, the devil's just playing tricks with you. Here at the Salem Wax Museum of Witches and Seafarers. It's another museum. I did this one many years ago, but we're gonna come in and check it out again. You can never go wrong with a good old wax museum. They eat some crushed pennies here in Salem. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little now now copper cat for Joy, and a little witch bear for me. Oh, look at that! They're so cute. Just left the Salem Wax Museum. Sadly, they didn't let me take videos in there. A lot of these museums, I was excited to uh, film in. So far, three out of four, no videos allowed. <laughs> Very disappointing. And this one was also tiny. This was tiny. The the wax that was museum. Tiny. We went to years, it's probably about half the size. It looks oh like they <laughs> cut the business in half, turned the basement into a haunted house that wasn't open. Trying to get more business in. Yeah, so we uh, weren't able to. So now we're off to the Pirate Museum. Walk in there now and hopefully we're able to show you something in there. <laughs> Hope, we'll see. Joy, catch him, catch him. He's gonna fall, catch him. Oh, oh, he's, he's attached there. It's just part of the museum. If I was a kid, I'd have these instead of little green army men battling pirates. Actually, what am I saying? I still would have these. <laughs> Sadly, we weren't allowed to take videos in the pirate museum either today. But we are going to show you this little diorama out. Some pirates here. We also got a little. Arrgh. Come to the pirate museum. We might not have rum, but we have some good old times. I do highly recommend, if you are in Salem, come to the Pirate Museum. It is one of my uh, favorite museums we went to today. All the museums are cool. There's a mixture of wax figures and live actors and guides. Oh my god, I think I spooked by one a little bit. Yeah. So, uh, check it out. I know there's a hell I work in retail. It's true, oh because god. I do. They should have that as a t shirt. Don't make me get out my flying one because I like that one. That is cute. Some fun yeah, bumper stickers here. Yeah. Uh, Frodo failed. Republicans have the ring. But what denial. It's not a ring. Oh, denial is not. Good bumper stickers. That's going to Nathaniel Hawthorne's birthplace. Ooh. Here at the House of the Seven Gables. Trying to walk with a large compass. We can see the compass gear, but I don't know. So I'm looking at this compass, Joy. See it? It's saying north that way, but I don't know what, what's going on with it. North, north, north. So I, I don't know. It's bugging out. Uh, there. No, north now this way. Oh, go. And out. it's possessed. It is possessed compass. We are in Salem. It might be a witch. Tide's too low. I'm stuck. <laughs> stuck here at the House of Seven Gables, but it's a nice spot to be stuck at. Oh no, you're coming towards me. <laughs> you trying to turn left? <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. That is Salem. I'm very sad. We, we drove all this way and- Couldn't had, show you guys. So. Couldn't show you hardly anything. We had all these museums I was going on. We went to them all. All cool things. 
come here, do it, See, sound. The cool thing though is like you can actually do like like photos, but you can't film. Yeah. So I learned a lot of history. I never knew Salem was like the original uh, capital of Massachusetts and learned all about the witch trials. So I had a good day all in all Salem. Been there, done it. That. Couldn't show you, but done it. Um, so remember folks, safe travels, good eats, and live life. Until next time. We're gonna get in the car now and yep. drive to Boston, eat some food. <laughs>